As we celebrate Black History Month, tribute to television talent. The Paley Center for Media has a new exhibit celebrating nine decades of the black experience on television. CBS 2's Dave Carlin with more on the list of legendary stars. Then you're alone, man. To see a black face on television. It really changed the cultural landscape. Giving us this tour inside the Paley Center for Media. It's very exciting. Is its vice president, Paul Allen. It's really fun. It's really interactive. Showing us Paley Center's salute to black achievements in television. Moments that touched our hearts and changed perceptions. Kunta, Kunta Kinte. There's something here for everyone. That includes sports dance shows and talk shows, and countless TV characters who became so present in our lives, we think of many of them as family. For some, that includes the cast of this show celebrating its 50th anniversary, Sanford and Son. I'm coming to join you, honey. What is it about Red Fox? This show aired 1972 and really led the, the way in terms of other black sitcoms that followed the black father-son dynamic. Um, which was something that the show really focused on. He wanted to have his own business. And so that was another underlying theme as well about this show. On this big screen, you get to see rare and riveting performances from the greats. Ron Simon is senior curator at Paley Center. We're very proud of the Sidney Portier drama, A Man is 10 Feet Tall. He plays a dock worker. There were so many stereotypical roles in the 50s, but it was Portier who gave humanity to his character. We pair it with another great performance by Michael K. Williams, who created the character Omar Little. I got the shotgun. Got the briefcase. So essential to the wire. So you can see these two characters that meant so much in different eras of television. Also on display, costumes from hit shows throughout the years, shining a spotlight on the creatives who helped make this happen. Worn by Maya Rudolph um, on SNL. Um, when she played uh, Kamala Harris as our vice president, people are really excited about this exhibition so people can come in and watch and, and find you know some of those hidden gems. Gems that include the world's greatest music. performances that thrilled us and made a difference. Childish Gambino, and, and when he premiered his song, This Is America, um, condemning gun violence. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. It's the story of our city, our country, and the world, and how television brought it all home. In Midtown, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News really does bring it home. The exhibit opens tomorrow and runs through February 27th. Nice walk down memory lane there. And we will have stories throughout the month that continue to highlight the contributions and sacrifices of African Americans who have shaped our country and helped to do so. You can help to find them right here on CBS 2 and streaming on CBS News New York. Be sure to check out our special Black History Month section at CBSNewYork.com.